Hi there, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, my name is Terry and I am the uh, founder of snickerz.co.uk. Um, aim of my website is to support, encourage and showcase grassroots snooker at all levels and that includes um, su supporting players within grassroots. Um, and today we are um, delighted to be speaking to one of those players. And today we are going to be speaking to Dave Waller. Um, Dave is a member of the WDBS tour um, and um, he's going to be uh, speaking to us about his journey onto that tour. And um, we're obviously very proud to be sponsoring um, Dave currently. And um, we're going to um, pass the floor over to, over to Dave and uh, he'll be able to tell you more about himself. Thanks very much. Well, firstly, thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate it, and I'm proud to be part of the snookerz.co.uk journey and, and being sponsored by yourself. So thank you to you personally and everyone involved for that, firstly. Um, so I played pool as a youngster, basically. Started playing pool probably as soon as I could stand up, if I'm honest, um, around a pool table and just loved Q Sports. Um, I always have um played a bit of the old bar billiards i've played billiards um i graduated probably one way of putting it to a snooker table um in my teens but really struggled with it um because it's a, a much more difficult game in my opinion i think although the paul snooker debate is one that probably will go on forever um as long as we're on this planet but uh so i played a lot of pool um played for my county which was uh sussex at the time as a junior um, really enjoyed it, but then life happened as I grew up, became an adult, moved away working and stopped playing competitive pool and actually probably stopped playing Q Sports socially for a long period of time. Um, I then, my career took me into the Metropolitan Police. That in itself um, was very involved, took up most of my time socially. I didn't do a lot. I was a football referee as well. And that was probably my only other main hobby um, having a young family at the time as well. 14 years ago, at the age of 40, a bombshell arrived, as it does to many. Um, I became ill and three days in hospital in Portsmouth, where I was living at the time, saw me diagnosed with MS. And that was actually 14 years ago last week. So we asked Dave if he was OK to talk about um his condition and how it and how it affected him both in his career and his move towards the WDBS, which which we think forms a very important part of this interview. Sure. So multiple sclerosis is a neurological uh, condition whereby your immune system attacks the healthy cells within your body. Um, it's very varying between different people. There's three different strains um, relapse from it in secondary progressive and primary progressive. You get demyelination, it's called, which is scarring of the nervous system. Um, I've got scarring to all four quarters of my brain. And I've also got scarring at C4 in my spine, which affects my mobility and my left leg, essentially, but left side altogether. Um, so I suffer from an awful lot of pain. I'm on three painkillers, fatigue, um, loss of balance, poor mobility at times, spasticity in my legs. Um my left side is completely numb, which can play havoc at times. My left leg, 100%. I've not felt that for 14 years. It's just dead weight, cold all the time and, and numb, which can cause a bit of balance when playing snooker, along with the fatigue. But also my left arm and the left side of my face are about, it varies, anything from 50 to 80, 90% numb. Um, went into hospital and I stayed in for another year, but that was working part-time, six months off sick. Um, tried to work in a control room, couldn't. Um, another thing I get is a bit of brain fog and it just wasn't conducive to fast time typing. And finally, we just asked David um, how it's going in WDBS and uh, how he's enjoying it. And uh, the answer was pretty emphatic, I'm pleased to say. There's eight different groups. So yeah, go and have a look. Um, and I would highly recommend it to anyone with a disability who wants to get involved in sport. Um, as well as being highly competitive, it's highly social. And I've made some really, really good friends. So last weekend, attended the Belgian Open in Bruges. Beautiful city, excellent club in Bruges, the, uh, the Trickshot Club in Bruges. And fortunately enough to make the final. Um, 
which surprised me and actually surprised quite a few other people. So yeah, so I'm loving my journey with WDBS. Um, and, you know, even meeting the likes of yourself at Woking, um, we've met a couple of times and obviously now we're involved through the sponsorship. So yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. Thank you for having me on board. It's really appreciated. Hey, Thanks, Terry. All right, take care. Hello, thank you for watching the interview. We hope you found it um, enjoyable and informative. Um, we here at Snooker Z um, are keen to support and encourage grassroots snooker at all levels. Um, we do that by running our own tournaments and by also sh um, supporting and sponsoring players within grassroots. Um, that, that doesn't come free, so um, we don't actually currently get much support from the top of the game. We wish we got more, so if you're listening, please make contact. Happy to talk to you. Um, but for now, we've got a fundraising page, which we'd invite you to have a, a look at. Um, and if, you, um, if you'd if like to donate to that, that would be much appreciated. Um, thank you very much for watching.